Are you ready to hustle? I need to hustle, hustle. Welcome to The Hustle with Justin Harrison, the ultimate podcast for money, motivation, and inspiration. Hustlers, the lifeblood of any business is the constant and steady flow of new customers. And this week, my inbox has been jam-packed with hustlers asking me questions around expansion, marketing, and how to acquire new customers. And since there is nothing more sexy than a brand new customer with a pocket full of cash, I'm going to give you all of the answers. Hey Justin, Bumelele Mkiza here from Njanga. Uh, Justin, I just was wondering, I need some business advice in terms of marketing. How do I market and expand my business in terms of clientele? I've been running a food store for the past year. But now I've, I've come to realize that I, I still have the same clientele and want more people to taste my food. Uh, so how would you advise me in terms of running a food store? Hustlers, remember, if you have a question for me, you can send me a voice note via WhatsApp on 0617929495, starting with the keyword hustle. And if you are a little bit shy and you prefer to send in an email, you can do that by sending me an email at moneytribe21, that's moneytribe21, at gmail.com. Mm, good grief, do I love me some new customers. There is nothing that makes my blood more excited than the discussions around expansion and marketing because these are the things that unlock the potential in your business. These are the things that take you closer to your true potential and your destiny. So Mr. Mkize, how do we get you some new customers? How do we get new people to taste your incredible food? And how do we expand those horizons so that you can reach the limitless opportunities that exist in your mind? Step number one is to think outside of the box. Think beyond where you're currently serving your food and where your current setup is run. You want to think about all the opportunities you're missing. Think about the events. Think about the parking lots. Think about the parks. Think about the hospitals. Think about all the places you could potentially be reaching customers. Tip number two, and this is really relevant to food, is to make sure you think about the timing. If your food is mainly lunch food, you wanna be grabbing people at lunchtime. If your food is mainly breakfast food, you wanna be grabbing people at breakfast time. And so you wanna make sure you're standing at the right place at the right time to grab new potential customers that you can turn into repeat customers. Tip number three is to start looking at partnerships and partnerships in a totally different way than you've probably been taught before. Think about all the potential partners that could get you into the big spaces where you could secure more customers. This could be eventing companies, this could be schools, this could be libraries, this could be municipalities. The list is pretty much endless. What you want to do is you want to find a group of partners who will quietly and silently position you in front of their potential customers, their potential events, without you having to constantly go and look for new events and new business. Tip number four is to consider expanding your current service offering. If you're currently just offering a food stall, consider going into catering. It's another way to get your food in front of additional customers and it can offer a whole new avenue to expand your business. Tip number five is really about testing, to test new channels of delivery. This could be something like setting up with Uber Eats. It could be something as simple as doing home deliveries but you need to test new avenues to get your product or your service into the marketplace. In your case, food. It is the simplest product of all. Everybody needs to eat, everybody wants to eat, and you have what people want. So now it is simply a case of testing how many ways can you get to new customers. My final piece of advice is to really nurture your existing clients. There is so much potential in your existing client base people who have already trusted you enough to hand over their hard-earned money. This is where so much potential lies and so many businesses totally neglect this. You want to focus down on providing the absolute most amount of value, making sure you communicate with them, making sure you have an email outreach list, making sure you have a WhatsApp group, make sure that you communicate with these people so that when you move to different events, these people move with you. Encourage them to tell their friends and family about the products and services that you're selling and invite them to become part of your community. Make them part of your movement and you will have a successful business. Too many people and too many companies go through life like this. 
new customer, new customer, new customer. And what they have behind them is a trail of new customers that never turn into repeat customers. Your mission in life should always be to create lifetime value in your client base and always to have your existing customers continuing to support your business. This is how you grow a successful business. And speaking of value, it is my mission to provide as much value to entrepreneurs here in South Africa as possible through this podcast. So if you're finding value from this podcast, please help me by leaving a rating on your favorite podcasting platform and also make sure that you follow or subscribe depending on the platform that you're on so you never miss an episode when it's released. So go out there, dream big, hustle hard, and remember, hustle makes muscle. Stay motivated by The Hustle. Talkers talk, but hustlers hustle. Find more episodes at ecr.co.za or your favorite podcast app.